we are at week six of the high school football season, and it's going to be a little bit weird this week with the storm coming through. So let's dive into our Super 10. A lot of shakeups this week. Some newcomers here. Bishop Kenny, 5-0 and for the Crusaders. They beat West Nassau 35-0 last week. They have Wolfson in a district game this week. This is their season debut for the Crusaders, led by quarterback James Reeser. Number nine, we have another newcomer. Bradford, they have been on a tear defensively. They beat Quincy Monroe 21-7 last week. Those seven points were the first ones they have given up all season long. They have Keystone Heights in the district opener this week. Jamie Rogers and company doing extremely well. Eight, seven, and six here. Familiar teams. Reigns moves up a spot from number, from number nine. They beat Trinity Catholic on the road last week. They've got Riverside on Saturday. That game scheduled for Saturday at 3 p.m. Number seven, Fleming Island. They dropped down a spot. They were off last week. They have a big, big district game this week against the Spartan Trails. A very tough one for Fleming Island. Number six, University Christian makes a big jump up from 10 all the way to six. They went on the road last week and beat Raven Gap from North Carolina, 49-13. Very tough opponent. You see romped in that when they played earlier tonight against Providence. Number five, four, three, two, and one. All stay the same. They all handled business last week. Ed White at four and one. They beat Riverside 34-0. They have Madison County this week on the road at Boot Hill. Number four, Creekside. They beat Maynard. Great special teams by the Knights last week, 37-27. And as with Fleming Island and Bartram Trail, this is a big, big week for the Knights in terms of district competition. They play Oakleaf, and that's a big district game. Again, Creekside already lost in district, so they cannot afford to lose another district game. Number three, Jackson. They were off last week. They get back to action this week. They have Rebalt in the district opener. See if Christopher Foy's company or team can continue that good season in their district game. I think it's going to come down to Jackson and Reigns for that district championship spot in a few weeks. At number two, Bartram Trail has been rock steady all season long. They beat St. Augustine 59-37 last week. Those points put up by the Bears in that rivalry. They have won the last five against St. Augustine. That's after an 0-19 start. Bartram, a very big game this week against Fleming Island, a district game. Fleming Island already has a district loss, so you know they cannot afford to lose another one. As we move up to number one, as has been the case all season long, Trinity Christian has continued to just answer every challenge. They won 43-30 last week against Columbia. Great game for the Conquerors. They have Christchurch in a district game this week. That's it for our Super 10.